So third week, uh, third day of the third week, September 14. So I already had my two glasses of water today. So as soon as I woke up, I drank two glasses of warm water. Uh, I'm gonna do my push-ups as well. had my intermittent, I already had my 16 hour fasting, the last meal I had was 10 o'clock last night and it's already 2.30 and, and it's already 2.30 so that means it's already 16 hours and a half I've been fasting. I'll try to push it a little bit more to 18 hours so that will be 4 o'clock. Because for the last two days, I've been doing 18 hours of fast. So, mahirap, pero kaya naman gawin. So, I just, just, I just need to train my body to, uh, to do things like, like that. Um, so, I wanted to do some other exercises as well today. Like my dumbbells. I want to start it off with dumbbells. And then I'll do my um, um, my leg raise. Uh, I think I need to do I need to complete my uh, my push-ups into 60 uh, push-ups in a day. But I can't do it. Uh, in, actually, I've done it. I can't do it in one. I need to push my push-ups into like 60 push-ups a day. Um, I've done it yesterday. Actually, I did like 60 push-ups. I think it was more than 60. I think it was more than 60 push-ups. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do 65 push-ups today. Kakayanin ko, ay mahirap. Not actually doing a proper push-ups because meant to be uh, when I do it, it meant to be my body has to be almost near the floor. But it's just so difficult, especially when you're when you're so heavy. Um, so I really need to shed. So hopefully, if I be able to shed more more of my weight, I'll be able to do it properly. But for now, as long as I'm doing it, and I think that's good enough for me. So I'm still trying to encourage my brother and my and my nephew to do the same, just like what I'm doing. Because last week it was really good. I lost like 2.8 kilograms in just a matter of a week. I wasn't doing it wasn't I wasn't even doing much apart from uh, my push-ups and apart from my uh, intermittent fasting so hopefully next week it's gonna be the same probably I would, I would lose more although I try not to uh, I try not to lose more than two kilograms or more than more than 2.5 kilograms and two kilograms would be is, is really drastic for me beyond that but if I go beyond that, it's might, it might not be good for my health. But you know, it can be done. Some people have done it. Um, two months ago, when I went home in the Philippines, I lost 3 kilograms in just a matter of a week. Yesterday, I had a call from my doctor. Uh, she said that the uh, blood results uh, from the last blood test I did this was first week of uh, first week of September. Uh, she said they're all good. It was far better than the last time I had it, and uh, my cholesterol level has gone down. And she said I have some good cholesterols as well uh, in my body, so I should I shouldn't be worried about anything um, about any um, anything, especially if it involve, if it involves the heart. So I just probably need to continue my diet. I need to continue my uh, my exercises as well, and um, I need to continue what I'm doing right now. Um, so tuli tuli lang at sana I ma achieve ko ito, because as I said, it's been long overdue, and I'm gonna be 50 next month. So kailangan ko na talaga. When you're getting older, yan naman na yung mga sakit sakit. Uh, especially if, uh, if you reach the, the age of 50. So, sa 
lahat ng mga support sa akin sa sa journey ko ito. I just, just want to thank you now and hopefully I won't fail you. Especially my family, uh, sa aking mga friends who gave their continued support sa akin. Um, so it's the uh, fourth day of the third week of my weight loss challenge and I've been uh, for the last three days, I've been really good with my intermittent, tra intermittent fasting. I've been doing 18 hours instead of 16 hours. So that's a good thing. I think so. Um, so that's a good thing, hopefully. And I added some exercises for, for me, for myself, and for the other two guys as well who is doing the weight loss challenge uh, with me. So hopefully, tuloy tuloy lang at um, yeah. Here up, I'm struggling, and also with my push ups. I'm, also, I'm already struggling with the 60 push ups. Uh, I don't know if I can be able to reach the 100 ones, my target of 100. I think I need to, uh, to do something about it to um, so I can do it. Uh, so I can do the 100 uh, push ups in one go. Right, but today is the 18th of September, and that time right now is nearly two o'clock. So for the last three days, I haven't done my uh, my usual routine of um, doing my uh, my exercises, I'm doing my push-ups, and drinking two glasses of water. Somehow I've been very tired coming from work, and. Um, didn't have the, uh, the energy to do them and, uh, but I'm still doing my uh, intermittent fasting uh, and, uh, uh, today uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so I have like 17 hours of, uh, of fast uh, fasting uh, today so I just woke up and drunk I'm drinking my cappuccino. I'm drinking. I had some uh, some rice crackers. I'm really hungry for lunch. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow. <coughs> tomorrow is a Monday. Tomorrow is Monday and it's Queen's uh, burial. So the surgery, the clinic is probably closed. So I won't be able to weigh myself. So I think I'm gonna do it on Tuesday when they open. Uh, tuli lang siguro. Um, hopefully na ane, hopefully na magbawas yung kimbang ko from the last week, which was 85.4. I was 85.4 already. But surprisingly, every time I weigh myself in the hospital, it keeps saying 90 kilograms just so confused so I don't know whether that their weight scale is not that accurate the ones that they have in the surgery or I don't really know but I'm, I'm using the same weighing scale which is in the surgery uh, every time I want to weigh myself mm. so um, I'm gonna be off I'm gonna be off work for the next four days so I'll do the best I can to do some uh, some workouts do some exercises and get back to my routine and see how it goes at my weight tomorrow so hopefully no bawasya because if I gain or if I didn't lose any weight I'm gonna be disappointed after all those uh, fasting which I did so I have fast for the whole week Yes, I did. I did fast for the whole week, actually. And a few of them I had for 18 hours, one for 20 hours. And so we'll see. So today is the 20th of September. It's a Tuesday. I'm heading to the surgery, to the clinic, to weigh myself. Hopefully, na may pagbabagong maganda. Uh, I haven't eaten anything. Uh, anything. I have been fasting for 
like 15 hours now so one more hour and I'll be heading to 16 hours um, it's Tuesday today ngayon lang nagbukas ang surgery because yesterday was the uh, Queen's burial and it's bank holiday here in the UK and in other Commonwealth countries as well so sana may magbabago and I've been praying for that kung wala magbabago at maliit lang magbabago then I think I need to do more about my about my diet kasi uh, very glamo ko misis ko pag ako uh, ay um, on fast kaya pag kumain ako the window of opportunity I tend to eat a lot so I really have to uh, be serious about my diet right now so as I was saying I'm um, heading to uh, the surgery right now to weigh myself I thought of running to get there but I decided to just do a brisk walk I think it does actually it's actually better than than running because it doesn't hurt your knees it doesn't hurt your knees it doesn't give much impact to your into your knees so sige lang tuloy lang ito and I'm actually exerting more energy and I'm actually burning more energy burning more calories than uh, running so mabilis lang ang lakad so sa mga mabibigat the best way to do your exercises is to do brisk walking that's far better than uh, running because it doesn't damage your knees doesn't give much impact on your knee joints. I'm here at the surgery now. I'm going to weigh myself. So we'll see what it's gonna be like. I'm just getting my token. And I can't find my token. So oh, here it is. It's in my pocket. So I need just to uh, put this thing to that thing stuck into that machine and there you go There you go, I just had my weight done and unfortunately my weight is 85.2 My blood pressure was 139 over 83 My pulse rate is 91 or my heart rate is 91 So going back to my weight, it's 85.2 If I can remember the last time I weighed myself last week was uh, I think it was 85.4 so I only lost like 0.2 kilograms so I know it's a bit disappointing 
So, well, usually, uh, at this stage, eh, dito yung matagal, ano eh, dito yung bumabagal yung weight loss sa ganitong stage. Uh, usually, in the first two weeks, three weeks, dun mabilis na wawala. So, today, uh, running on the fourth week. Fourth week na to. Meron pa akong four weeks. This is the second day of the fourth week. And I'm really disappointed a bit. So, that means I need to I need to shed more of my diet. I need to cut off of my diet. So, kailangan bawasa ko yung kinakain ko. And still, you know, yung rice, you know, culprit. At, uh, doon talaga usually ako pumapalpak, pumapalpak eh. Always fail by, by eating rice. The exercise din, kailangan ko rin talaga. Medyo mahirap na yun kasi medyo lumalamig eh. Pero, we'll see. So, I still have this week to do something about it. I will pray na 3 kg ang mawala sa akin. So, it's gonna be difficult, I'm telling you. So, that means hindi ko nagawa yung 1.5 uh, minimum weight loss ko for the week. So, 0 0.2, 0.2 kilograms. So, that's it guys. And uh, hopefully this week will be a lot better. And I'll be able to do something about it. One thing, one thing as well, you know, natigid yung aking uh, push-ups. Uh, kasi, I'm having a little bit of pain on my left shoulder. Uh, kasi, medyo, like I'm trying, uh, I'm straining myself every time I do my push-ups. Siguro, dali gawin ko pa. Kailangan more on, on uh, cardio exercises ang gawin ko to burn out my calories and my fats so we'll see how it goes uh, sana naman uh, may hirong malaking pagbabago itong week na ito um, yeah a bit disappointing 85.4 and the thing is I'm so hungry I cooked spaghetti last night and uh, I still have some spaghetti left over there. And so, so um, uh, craving for that spaghetti. Sa pagwi ko kakain na naman ako, but at least hindi kanin, hindi rice. Uh, and my wife's gonna not gonna be happy about this. Nalaman niya na I didn't lose any. I didn't lose much for the last week from the last week na naging mga ko uh, so kulang sa akin pa rin yung exercise kulang pa rin sa akin yung uh, although nagpa fasting ako intermittent fasting I don't know maybe it's the way it should be maybe it's the way ganun talaga pagka nag intermittent fasting ka yung baka yung yung from third from yung third week mo usually babagal siya so we'll see siguro kailangan ko lang malampasan yung stage na yun and the thing is I really need to uh, I really need to continue my fasting my intermittent fasting dapat hindi ako ano dun eh hindi ako sasablay doon so like yesterday uh, was it yesterday or, or Monday Oh, I think it was months. It was Sunday. Medyo naka hindi ko mabot ng 16 hours. Eh, ang problema kasi pagka na umpisan ko nang um, ganun lang. Nang umpisan ko na hindi ko magawa yung 16 hours. Tuloy-tuloy na yon. So I, I, I need to to go back desperately para makuha ko ulit yung 16 hours. Eh, it's it's kind of difficult sometimes. Uh, so yeah, there are times when I'm hungry and I really want to eat, even though I haven't received the six, I haven't, um, I haven't there yet in the 16 hours. I have to sleep it off. Tutulugan ko, 
para you know just to buy time <laughs> Pero, uh, and one thing i noticed yung acid ko rin medyo um, siguro it's uh, it's a normal body reaction when you started when you're about to start when you're just started with the intermittent fasting nagre-react yung body mo pero i to think once you get the hang of it maging okay na siya but ang ginawa ko lang nagtake lang ako ng omeprazole uh, 20 mg which was my uh, uh, yung leftover ng wife ko when she was taking omeprazole for her acid as well so we'll see uh, tayo tayo should never give up you know, kailangan ma-reach ko magka 75 kilograms ako I'll be very very happy and then tuloy tuloy na yun mas madali kasi mag-exercise kapag medyo mag-aang mas madali ako mag-jogging pag medyo mag-aang so uh, sana mapaabot ko itong kung pa ako ng 85 uh, for the next 2 weeks um, siguro i-targeting ko ng ano, itong 2 weeks na to I'd lose 2.5 2.5 kil, uh, kilograms um, or my shed ko itong 5.2 uh, na ito so I could reach 80 kilograms it'd be better kung uh, baba ko pa siya ng 79 kilograms or less than 80 kilograms uh, pagka nandoon ako yeah, tuloy tuloy na siya so I really need to do more work um, para ma-shed ko itong weight itong weight ko and hopefully yung mga kasama ko ay uh, they're, they're being serious sa kanilang ginagawa na pagpapapayat oh this is a nice guy look at that nice guy well kind of garden for me medyo I'm gonna have to cross the street nope I can't so Sana nga yung dalawa ay maging seryoso rin sila sa weight loss nila because this has been long overdue. Uh, we should have done this a long time ago. Pero it's never been too late. It will never be too late, you know, as long as you're doing something about it. Uh, so Yeah, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. Tuloy-tuloy ako and guys, I hope you guys are uh, um, supporting me uh, praying for me hopefully uh, lalo na yung mga malalapit ko sa buhay so sana lang I can do this 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 kapag uh, sinasabi ko yung I can do this yung spaghetti naglalaro sa isip ko ang bihira I really need to be serious about my weight loss eh. But it's a good thing, you know, my improvement is a uh, uh, blood test from the last time I had it. Like, that was beginning of September. Uh, oh no, beginning of August. Then I had my another blood test on late, late August. Or first week of, I think it was first week of September. So I have like a month. Um, some water nakalipas. I have like a month past when I had my last uh, blood test so we have a comparison for that and the doctor said it has improved drastically and even my blood sugar is way better than the uh, than my blood sugar from last year so I don't know how they test I don't know how they figure out that on the certain tests sa, uh, sa blood they will determine if you are pre-diabetic you're going to have diabetes in the future so, so we'll see it's gonna cross the street so uh, ingat kayo dyan guys and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe and uh, like this uh, video so guys thanks for watching and do please subscribe Hit the notification bell so meron kayong update na kung ano mga nangyayari sa aking uh, weight loss uh, challenge. And do like this video as well if you can.
Thank you guys. Ingat po kayo. God bless.